Hi, we're John and Kate. And George. And this is our van. Did you know, if you list your van with Outdoorsy, you can earn up to $50,000 a year. Check the link in the description to find out how. So this is a 2007 144 wheelbase Sprinter. Um, we got this van, it had about 75,000 miles. And in its previous life, it was a cargo van. So it had no windows. Um, it actually belonged to a countertop company. And yeah, gutted it and we're able to start fresh. Two months of ordering, two months of building, and here we are. We got married in 2019 and we had a dream of an extended honeymoon. And so that's kind of where the idea began. We've been dreaming for a long time about having more freedom and seeing the country and exploring how beautiful America is. You know, started planning, thinking about how to make this possible. And then, yeah, we hit the road. Um, we quit our jobs in, at the end of 2019. And yeah, the cat actually did really well in the van. Um, we spent a few nights in the driveway before you know, starting to drive, let him like hang out and investigate everything. And then, yeah, we spent a few nights in the bed. He got to just get to know it. And every day he, gets a five or 10 minute walk a couple times a day. We'll just pull over, you know, throw the, the leash and harness on. And normally it's me just following behind as he, <laughs> you know, goes and explores. Walking and the cat. It was really important for us to have a place where we could sit down together, enjoy a meal, hang out with our friend, and also have a place to work on photography, editing, things of that nature. So we love our swivel seat and our lagoon table. This is our kitchen. I think our favorite thing in the kitchen is the countertop. Um, it's a beautiful piece of wood, Keisha. And then we also have this giant Norcold refrigerator, which has a freezer inside of it. It's a little empty right now, but we wanted something that had a ton of room because we love having seltzers, um, different drinks, and we go off grid for a while. So it's good to have like, I don't know, maybe two weeks worth of, of food or so inside. This spice rack has a magnet inside, which makes it perfect. Keep all of our spices here. Easy access while cooking. We also have a solenoid valve here that turns the propane on and off without having to go back and physically unscrew it. Quick uh, safety feature there. We also have a cutout for our sink, which was harder than it sounds to do. And we thought we would want more counter space. It is nice to have that option, but honestly, we primarily use it for breakfast in bed and as a cheese board for picnics. Running water, what a luxury in a van. Really takes it from camping to basically just living in an apartment that's really small. Our fresh water is filtered through a two-stage filter. We have 40 gallons of water in the back. Underneath, we have a six gallon of gray water that has a quick connect. We can just dump it wherever it belongs. We also have our trash can, our recycling bin, and very important, our fire extinguisher, which we have never had to use. It's really important, especially in a, a 144, to use every bit of space you can. So we also have this, which is our cutlery drawer. Up here, we have all of our toiletries, our uh, bowls and plates. Uh, I've got the magic bullet, sometimes for smoothies, sometimes I make like oat flour with it. Um, of course, coffee, very important and just general storage. We also put some of our dry goods in here, but most of our dry goods actually go up here. The shelf is incredibly important. I really love having this, and I don't know how you could live in a van and not um, take advantage of this amazing storage opportunity. <laughs> Another thing that I love about our kitchen is our pull-out pantry here. This was a special request from me to John, who built our cabinet. Did an amazing job doing it, by the way. Um, I couldn't think of a, a great way to, a better way to use the storage in between the refrigerator and where the sink is. One of my favorite features of the van, visually speaking, is our backsplash. We actually started out using peel and stick tile, and it started to, the layers themselves started to delaminate over time. So we decided to just go full scent, and we've had this for over a year in the van and it hasn't had a single crack. Knock on wood. When we went back and added some secondary improvements that we didn't include the first time, one of the big things that we wanted to add was a place to keep glass things, like our wine bottles. So, we made this beautiful wine rack here. And also, people don't always talk about this, but this is where we have our dirty clothes, which is a very important location to have a very specified location where things like that belong. We have 
have a fixed bed. It's pretty high up, but we just use our seat as a step. And we did that so we could maximize the amount of toys we have in our garage while also allowing John, who is about six feet, to be able to sit up tall while in bed. We have a full-size bed, which is perfect for the two of us. It is extremely comfortable. I would highly recommend a foam mattress. Originally, we had planned on actually having this cabinet going all the way back. But once we started seeing the space in here, we thought it would close it off a little bit too much. What we did instead was get these beautiful bins from the container store, and that's where we hold all of our clothes. We also have our guitar back here, very important on the road. And then one of my favorite pieces is our watercolor painting from when we went to Italy, which is actually where John proposed to me. We have the Max Air fan, which is right above us. It can pull in or push out air. We also have two bunk windows, which are on either side of the bed, which is absolutely necessary for sleeping in hot climates. It is amazing how much breeze actually comes through and it hits you right in the face as you're going to sleep. We also have our lights on a dimmer here, so you can adjust that. Over here, you'll see some USB cords, some power outlets, as well as our battery monitor. On the other side, we have our s 2 heater control, which is really nice to be able to control from the bed so that you don't have to get out of the bed to put your heater on in the morning. We also have a thermostat in here and a humidity monitor. Very important when you have a cat or any animal in your van to know exactly what the temperature is in your van. All right, so underneath this seat here, we have our cassette toilet and it's a, a five gallon cassette toilet and basically there's a contained black water tank and basically it just slides out here. Um, and then whenever we need to dump it, you can just take it out, has a handle, and then you can go to a public restroom or anything like that, dump it. A lot of people aren't sure if they wanna have the toilet in the van or not, definitely a necessity, like when, you know. Another question we get a lot is, do we have a litter box in the van and how does that work with the cat? So we do have a litter box. It's underneath the bed here, right in the corner. And basically this is a sealed litter box that has the flap door and then there's also a carbon filter on top and that helps a lot to keep in the smell. Actually, actually hasn't smelled at all. And another great thing is that George isn't really a messy cat. So we have this mat here that kind of helps to trap the litter but um, it hasn't really been a problem him like tracking it around the van or anything like that. Another feature that we built in underneath the bed is a coat rack. And we have a few coats right here um, but this is a really good place to put like bulky coats like our snowboarding jackets go under here. So as Kate mentioned, we went with the fixed bed because we knew we wanted to bring a lot of gear with us when we were on the road. So having the fixed bed, we have all this room here. Um, underneath, I'm just gonna take you through what we have. So starting here, this is our uh, Zero Breeze air conditioner. And basically this is an inlet and outlet that go through the floorboard. And then there's actually the cold air comes up um, about halfway down the bed. So you can kind of point it at your face when you're going to sleep. Um, underneath the AC, there is this sealed box for our propane tank and that's all sealed and vented through the floor for safety. We have uh, 40 gallons of fresh water and basically this is the fill port here. You can just unscrew and then anywhere we can attach a hose. We have 50 feet of hose here and then you can basically just fill up and that'll normally last us for about one to two weeks. We built this shelf so that we could hold our uh, fold up kayaks and on top of that we have all of our kiteboarding gear. So um, with us we have three different kites, two harnesses, and two different kite boards. We also wanted to add these mounts on the door just to create a little bit of extra storage space and it looks kind of cool. So we have our shovel and our ax for when we're out camping on like BLM land or just out in the wilderness. Um, gotta have the skateboard, you know, if you need to take a quick cruise. And we also have an outdoor shower that's attached to the back door here. And basically this is just um, linked up to our water pump and you can take it off when you're ready to take a shower. And got our mat here so you can throw this down this is really important if you want to shower somewhere where there's like a lot of mud or something you can keep your feet clean so you know you can just shower off just like this and then it just tucks away nice and neat right on the door when you're done our electrical system is all contained behind this box and we built this for a few different reasons um, one was to make sure that the cat wouldn't get inside at all um, and luckily I haven't had to spend too much time under here the whole electrical system has worked really well since we've been on the road um, so we can access this. This is this whole panel is just um, attached with magnets. And so this pulls off and then we can access the full electrical system under here. All right, so this is our electrical setup. Um, we have two AGM batteries from Renergy. These are 200 amp each. So we have a, a 400 amp bank here. 
Um, starting from this side here, we have a um, solar on off switch. So that'll just kill the power from the solar panels. We have 230 watts of solar up on the roof. Um, this large box here is the solar charge controller, and this basically will just regulate how the batteries are pulling power from the solar panels as they're charging in the sun. Um, this is a master on off switch. So if I ever need to work on the system, I can kill power and just make sure that I can work on it in a safe way. This is a smart charger that will basically open up a circuit when you're driving so that you can charge the batteries using the van's alternator. And then this is our 1000 watt inverter. And so basically, this is what routes to those normal AC outlets that you see up above. And we wanted to have that for, you know, like charging um, computers or any other little appliances that we might have um, to give it more of like a home feel, having that standard AC outlet. So we also have a roof deck on top of the van. The solar panels are on the front and then we have a six foot by four foot deck and we use it basically for just hanging out, like having coffee in the morning. Sometimes we'll watch the sunset up there. It's really nice. Let's go take a look. We made the deck out of Trex decking material, and we really liked this material because it's made from uh, recycled materials. We use the deck all the time. So basically we'll come up here, we'll have coffee in the morning, uh, we'll have dinner, come up to watch the sunset. And it's really incredible like how much your view opens up when you're nine feet above the ground. And then up front we have our solar panels. So we have uh, 230 watts of solar total. And when we were designing this roof area, we wanted to make sure that we were utilizing every square inch. So this is our max air fan. Basically this flips up and then you can have uh, air venting in or out. And we wanted to design it so that we're using every bit of space. Thanks for checking out our van. If you want to follow along on our adventures, we're John and Kate on Instagram. See you on the road. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.